You know how they say when you lose one sense, it heightens others? That's just an excuse to buy more perfumes. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind girl back on your screen with another one. And this one I'll be sharing with you my favorite fragrances. These are my perfume picks. In fact, these are all of my perfumes because I'm a fragrance fanatic that I wanted to share with you today. I find you get to know a lot about a person by what their favorite perfumes are. So let me know down below what your favorite fragrances are and let's get into it. It's only fitting to start off with my absolute favorite. If I created a perfume, it would smell exactly like this. This is me perfumified. It is the Victor and Rolf Bon Bon Couture. This is everything. And disclaimer in this video, the word everything is going to be used way too much because all these perfumes are everything. What I love about this perfume is that it is the perfect balance of feminine and flirty while still not being too youthful and too childish. I find a lot of times with florals, you tether on it being like your mom's floral or like a very childish floral. But this is like the perfect balance. This is my everyday perfume. I use this 365. It's very sultry, very sensual, very warm. Initially, I thought it was gonna be my winter fragrance, but I use this for any occasion, any season, any reason. It's just been my everything. It's my third bottle, actually. That's how much I love it. My mom and my brother bought me my first two bottles and I've just been addicted ever since. I love the packaging. I like that this has neroli, caramel, sandalwood, mandarin. It's just bless, so bless. Another very mysterious scent is the Gucci Bamboo. This one I originally tried as a mini sample and the packaging is so cute. I'll do a cutaway to show you how cute it is because it's still on display today in my apartment. And as you can see, I'm almost done this bottle that I've had for two years. Let me know if it's just me, but for some reason, it's a race against the clock when I have full-size fragrances. I find half the times I love them so much that I finish them too fast, or that I'm so pressed to make them last, that the last couple spritzes and two drops in there tend to turn. I've been holding on to this fragrance for this video, and also because now that it's turned a little bit, I've used it more as a layering fragrance. On its own, I feel like you can tell too much that something's a little off with the chemical composition. But when you layer it with some other perfumes I'll show you in a second, you can't tell too much and it just adds another level of warmth. Like the name says, bamboo, of course it's very woodsy. There's sandalwood as well as lily and bergamot. I feel like that blend everything, of course but more than everything, it gives you a very sultry scent with a little bit of playfulness that's not too serious. You know, some fragrances like Lancome, uh, what was it back in the day? It's like a little, tr I'll put it over here, but there was this fragrance that I used to have back in the day that was a whole statement. It said the most, did the most, and sometimes you just don't need that. But with this one, it's just the perfect I, it's just everything. I need to come up with a better word than everything. This next one is a gem. It's the YSL Mon Paris Couture. Love it. I don't know what it is with me and perfumes and getting the couture version, but it works. The grapefruit, the rose, the musk in this is perfection. Absolutely exquisite. I love florals, but this one takes it to another level because it's more light and bright than some of the ones I've just shown you. This is more of a day perfume. You can wear this all year round as well. I don't think it's really bright enough to be a summer perfume, but it's not heavy where you'd only have to restrict it for like nights or winter per se. It's definitely a anytime, any place kind of perfume. And I was so excited when my friend Jeff gifted this to me because I actually bought the travel size the year before and just finished it. So I've been using this to refill that so I can take it and go. It's one of those perfumes that although it is a perfume, it doesn't last as long as some of the others I'll show you. So just keep that in mind because is a G. The very unlikely fragrance is this. It's Pistachio Brulee by Urban Outfitters. This one I have adored since the day that I tried it in the store. Whew. This is probably the most youthful, playful scent out of all that I'll show you. It literally smells like Pistachio Brulee. It's very like ice creamy, warm, fun, fresh, but still very sweet without being too cloying. It is 
so blessed. It's very vanilla-y without being too sickly, if you know what I mean. As I mentioned earlier, I have a hard time. It's a thin line between enjoying my perfumes or rushing to finish these full-size bottles. So over the last couple of years, I decided to just go with the travel size. That way I can kind of test it out, see how it wears throughout the year and not feel bummed out when it goes bad on me. With that said, I have four perfumes, two of which are new and two I've had for over a year that I've loved. The first one is this little potion. This is the Yves Saint Laurent. It is the Black Opium Intense. And they are not tripping when they use that word intense. This is perhaps the most potent perfume I have ever smelled in my life. There's a reason why I've had this for over a year and barely used a third of it. One spritz will get you through not only the entire night, but maybe your whole life. I made the mistake of packing the first tube of this that I bought in my Gucci bag, broke it that night, and my bag has still smelled like that a year later, and it also got stained. I bought the second bottle. I've been very careful. I've just realized that there's no point in taking it to go because this smell goes with you no matter what. There have been days where I have showered and I exfoliate and I lath and I loof and all of that and there's still like a little remnant of this after. That is how strong the scent is. So if you want a perfume that is gonna give you everything you need and more, it has the power to change your life. This is one that you cannot play with. It's got two key notes in there, or actually three because there's absinthe. I don't know what absinthe is, but they've got absinthe in here as well as coffee and orange blossom. And who would have ever thought coffee? But that's where it's at. A lot more simpler and sweeter than that is this one. It's the Lancome Idol, and this is the only one that I have in the roller ball. I'm not really a fan of roller balls, are you? I don't know a single person that loves roller balls, but I've still loved it. As you can see, I've used half of it already. I'm kind of thinking, should I buy the full size of this? Maybe if I finish one of my full size perfumes, then I will, because I really love it. This is a very fresh and young floral. Like this is not your mom's floral, and that's why I love it. A lot of times, like when I think of floral, I think of Chanel number no. five, but this brings more life and playfulness to the world of florals. I absolutely adore this scent. I would have never picked it myself, but as a gift, it was a really thoughtful and well-picked out gift because it really suits my body chemistry. In this is, I just get, I don't know. Off the top, I can only remember that it has jasmine and rose. I don't really smell either, to be honest. I just get a bouquet of fresh flowers. So very beautiful. It doesn't even smell like that on my body as much as it smells like that in here, which I prefer, because I don't like to smell too much like a bouquet. Still keeping with the florals is the Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli. Of course it has Neroli in there. There's sandalwood and mandarin if I'm not mistaken. Whew. This is a perfume that you don't want to play with. When I tell you, it is strong, not as potent as the black opium, but strong in its own reserve. This is more like the, you know, this is like the younger sister that's already seen from her older sister what's up and plays her cards right. Like this, this is summer in a bottle. I wish I got this at the beginning of the summer instead of the end because I feel like now that we're getting into bee season, every time I wear this out on a patio, I'm just a magnet for the bees and it's not a fun ordeal. But besides that, this scent is very fresh. I find anything from Clean Reserve is very, very fresh, like laundry fresh and I love it. It just whew, takes everything to the next level. It's a whole vibe. This is a very like light mood kind of smell. Like when you wear this, you're like a sundress, a sun hat, very little cares in the world, or if you have problems, you're gonna solve them. That's the kind of perfume this is. <laughs> I saved one of my newest favorites for last. I can't believe I slept on this one. This is the Killian Princess. I smelled all the Killian ones. Adults, don't do that. Just don't do that. Kissing is all right. But this one though is everything. It is the most interesting composition I have ever smelled in my entire life. Why did that have to come out so serious? Is it really that serious? But really it is. It's so, 
I'm so happy that I watched Aaliyah's face vlog when her subscribers recommended this to her because I would have never looked at it. I don't like the packaging of the full-size bottle, but I just might buy it. This one is A1. It is green tea, ginger, and what was the third note? Marshmallow? I'm pretty sure it's marshmallow. That's probably why it smells slightly vanilla-y without being gross, because some vanilla scent just ain't it. But this is incredible this is probably what heaven smells like it is everything you need in a fragrance it's warm it's spicy it's sultry sophisticated slightly playful mysterious it's just whew. i said a lot about a lot of perfumes in this video but this one is probably my newest favorite. Between that and the Bon Bon Couture, that is me epitomized. So with that said, that wraps up my perfume video. I hope that you enjoyed this sensual experience. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I wanna know what your favorite perfumes are or if you tried any of mine, so leave that for me down below. And until next time, love and later.